today we will discuss about some medical terms you might be knowing that almost 70% of the medical terms are coming from latin or greek language why is it so because our father of modern medicine hippocrates he was born in kos island of greek hippocrates hippocrates he is considered as the father of modern medicine from kos island which is a part of greece he was born in uh, bc 460 that's about 2500 years back his father was also a physician and also his grandfather that is hippocrates one he was also a doctor of that time so actually the dynasty comes like that hippocrates one then his son heraclides then his son is hippocrates two so in this family hippocrates 2 became very famous in the field of medicine not his grandfather hippocrates 1 it is hippocrates 2 that we are talking about the most famous book written by hippocrates with the help of his students and friends that famous book is known as hippocratic corpus this is the first book written about medicine this is actually a collection of 70 works 70 articles are there written by not only by hippocratic hippocrates but his friends around 18 friends also contributed to complete this hippocratic corpus but this corpus is known in hippocrates name that's all so totally hippocrates plus 18 others so totally 19 physicians 
contributed to complete this Hippocratic corpus. Another point I have to tell you now is about the Hippocratic Oath. Hippocratic Oath that the fresh uh, graduates are taking this oath before they start their practice. I don't know nowadays or the universities are strictly following this Hippocratic Oath or not. Hippocratic Oath actually was not written by Hippocrates, but some of his colleagues jointly wrote this Hippocratic Oath and included in the Hippocratic Corpus. It was actually written after the death of Hippocrates by his friends wrote it. But it is also included in this book. And uh, that is uh, one point. Another point is when Hippocrates lived in Kos Island in Greece, at that time, that is 2,500 years back, there was very strict rule which was uh, prevalent in Greece. That rule was called Tabu, T A B O O. What does it mean? This is a strict rule in which it says that when a man dies, his body should not be cut and that body should not be used for dissection by the students of those medicine, medical fields. So, medica that means medical field students, they were not getting enough dead body to study the anatomy of the body. So even with this rule strictly effective in Greece, Hippocrates tried his best to do some kind of dissection and all wherever it is possible secretly and he, he has collected uh, good knowledge and information regarding the human body. That is why he is considered as the father of modern medicine. So that was the history of Hippocrates and all the medical words are formulated by Hippocrates and his friends and of course naturally Latin and Greek were the languages that they were following. So all these medical words, almost 75% at least came from Latin and Greek. Some words are from French, German and from other languages also. That means if you know little bit Latin or Greek, that means you can very easily follow the medical terms. So what I am trying today is to give an explanation of how the medical, some of the medical words are formed by making an analysis with 
an explanation of prefix, suffix and roots. So we will go with a simple word amnesia. It's a simple word. What do you mean by amnesia? Amnesia is loss of memory. Amnesia. Amnesia. We have to split this word into three items. Number one is A. Number two is Menes. And number three is IA. So I'm going to split it into three simple words. A is one word. M N E S Menes is another word. M N E S and I A is another word. The middle word is called the root or the important word of this full word. Now let us go to the meaning of this uh, prefix, root and suffix. Prefix A means no, not, or without. These three meanings are there for the prefix A. So whenever you write a word before the root, it is considered as prefix. And if that word is A, that means it is a negation of this word. M N E S minus means memory. So when you add a prefix that is before the root word minus, if you use this prefix, that means it is the opposite of this root meaning. Coming to the suffix, it is IA. IA is the suffix used to denote abnormal condition. It is a condition quite often it will be abnormal. It is not necessary that 100% conditions are abnormal. Some conditions are normal also, very rarely. But usually, when you write the suffix IA after the root word, it means an abnormal condition. So here for this patient, amnesia patient, what is happening? 
he has a condition or an abnormal condition whereby he lost his memory that means without memory that kind of a condition is called amnesia so we have split this word into three prefix root and suffix root can be more than one it's not necessarily that it should be one word it can be two words that will come later this is the simple structure of any medical word there may be a prefix or there may not be a prefix so there can be one root or many roots suffix normally it will be only one so we will come across many suffixes and many prefixes so amnesia means a condition whereby the memory is lost or without memory no memory and that condition is called amnesia very simple when we split and understand the meaning of each part of the word it becomes very simple so i will go to the next word that is analgesic this word also we have to split into two or three here also it is three a n is one prefix al jas is the root word i c ik is the suffix here so i will write ye yen here it was ye alone the second word it is ye yen n then al jas then i c ik so here this is the prefix root word and suffix now here the root word al jas means what al jas means pain pain here a n is the same meaning of a that means no not without so a and a n both are same meaning no not or without the root al jas means pain ik 
I see is pertaining to. Pertaining to. That is pertaining to the alges situation. About the pain. Here the prefix comes and what does it mean? No. So that means a condition of no pain or without pain. So this analgesic means it is pertaining to a stage where there is no pain. You are taking painkiller if you have some pain somewhere. That painkiller is analgesic because it kills the pain. You will have no pain. So an analgesic medicine means that medicine which kills the pain or which makes the pain null or it will nullify the pain or it will make without pain. That kind of a medicine is called an algesic, an algesic tablet. So the painkiller, such as paracetamol that you are using is an analgesic or aspirin. It's an analgesic. The three parts of the words are to be analyzed. And Algus and ik. Analgesic. Algus means pain. N means the same meaning of A. A and N are same. On some occasions, N will be used. On some occasions, A will be used. That's all. Same meaning. When you study three, four words, you will understand it clearly. You, you can split the words by yourself. I will go now to another word, also a very simple word. You might have heard Anastasia. Anastasia. A N E S T S T H S T H E S I A. This also we will split into three portions or three parts. The first one is and then yes, this, then IA. And yes, this. And IA. IA, you know, it is a condition. Normally, it is an abnormal condition. And here also, it means no 
not without same meaning as ye yes this what does it mean as this yes this means sensation if somebody touches you you will know that somebody is touching you so that is sensation i a means abnormal condition so anesthesia means it is a condition